Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode here of Draft Day Sports College Football 2020. My name is Fantasy Hawkeye, and today is finally game day here for the series. Now, before I get going here with game one, I did want to mention something here. So, if you didn't watch the last video or read the <coughs> description of the video, excuse me. I um, did have a recording issue. I'm currently using some different software right now, and I had a little bit of an issue when it came to getting uh, some certain screens to pop up. So I'm just going to show you here again what I went over real quick in those. So there's really only two things that were big that you missed. Number one... You missed what player profiling here was. And this is what I was talking about here by leadership, work ethic, competitiveness, team player, sportsmanship, etc. Here, if you take a look at these here, and um, this is essential. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is essentially... Uh, the same leaders, this is essentially the morale, an expanded morale system that uh, Madden uses nowadays. And the fact that we just need to see more of this things in video, these things in video games. Leadership comes to motivating people, team player comes to motivating as well, competitiveness, work ethic. I mean, this is just really solid stuff here by... Wolverine Studios. I really like it that they did that a lot. And I also wanted to show you here real quick the uh, play calling screen. I mean, the uh, playbook screen here real quick. Because when I go in here to customize playbook, so this is the screen that you get in the game when you make your playbook. And so my playbook here essentially is every single play in the game except for the wishbone stuff i decided not oh excuse me i just woke up from a nap <laughs> i decided not to put the wishbone in the playbook and the reason why was because when I made the playbook. I thought, I don't really think I'm going to be using this a whole lot. So that's why I decided not to do that. And these little stars here mean that I created the play. And how you do that is, so you go down to create custom play here. And then this is the window that you get that I was talking about before. So you can start offense, defense. Here are all of your formations here from the game itself. You set a desire here, and then you set up a scheme. So, like, vertical or spread, pass preference, what, um, how long of a pass you prefer, and then the target parameters here, run preference, what your running backs need to do in this uh, game, and so on and so forth. And I'm not actually going to make a play. I'm just going to show you a couple things here. So you can set your quarterbacks here, drop back, medium, lawn, roll over, roll out to the left or right, which is really nice. You can also set your running backs here. So like left screen, screen to the right, left short out, left out, deep. In, golly. Sorry about this. Anyway, but there are so many different types of routes in this game, and it makes it really nice for this as well. <coughs> and your, um, tart. <coughs> Goodness me. Your, uh, Your uh, target percentage here references to how often your quarterback will essentially look their way and throw them the football. And you need to set up <clears throat> your um, players also need a pass block or run block. So, like, you set them up to pass block here. And it's essentially just, like, 
what you would want in a normal football game. This is what football needs today. And I'm not going to create a play like I said today because I do actually want to get on with game one here, which is where we're going to start here in just a minute. But that is that, guys. So let's go ahead here. And we are finally ready to play game one of the series against Central Michigan. I went over the team briefly in the last video. And the roster for the team was not very good. I think this will be a pretty easy win for us today. And I did also make my other um, depth charts for the game as well. So I'm able to bring out different, form, different uh, players as well in the game. So here we are now. Let's start off here. I'm going to hit start game here. Won the toss and deferring. So Central Michigan defers to the second half. And I will send the kickoff defense out on the field. And we get out to about the 20 yard line, 20, 20 and a half yard line here by Max Cooper. So I did actually mess around with this screen a little bit. I actually have a test file that I have done some testing with. And this is one of the nice things about this game. So I can come in here and essentially call whatever. Now, your spread formation is uh, from the ace in this game. But I'm going to call a uh, run here to start. The full offense is all the starters on the field. That's the first lineup that I chose. First play of the series is... Tyler Goodson down to the third down to roughly the 44 45 yard line with a gain of 35 on the play. And that's how we start out the series here in this game. And I do plan on calling a lot of different stuff in this game. I have a lot of twin tight end looks. I have a lot of um passes in this game. I'm just going to call a bunch of stuff and just see how it works. So let's call this tight end post here now. First down and 10 from the 44. Hogan, quick throw and incomplete. Not a good decision there. By him on that one. So let's hit the off tackle left play here from the I form. And Tyler Goodson off tackle gets to the outside. He's got space. And he's going to score. So Tyler Goodson scores our first touchdown here of the series. On a 44-yard run. Two of the plays went to him. He already has 79 yards rushing in the game. So hats off to him there. I'll kick the extra point. And we are up 7 to nothing now already in this game. Kickoff comes out to about the 32 and a half yard line. There are obviously some things that I wish this game had. Like one of the things that I wish is that so there's <clears throat> obviously we can't see the kickoff units in this game. I wish that was one of the things that you could see just to see, you know, how they're running down the field and all that in this game. As I'm going to call a cover two look here. James Mitchell back to pass, and unnecessary roughness here on their, on one of their offensive linemen here, John Cushman. So they're backed up to first and 25 now on the play. I wish that the game also would tell you penalties on that screen as well, but they give them to you here, which is nice. So, at least you have that, but you don't have, like, an animation or an alert that tells you, like, hey, they got a penalty other than that. Ball is snapped, James Mitchell, quick throw, and incomplete. Call my uh, cover four here. Th second down and 25 now, and that was a... Quick tackle there, quick wrap up, third and 24 now. And I'm going to go back here to that dime defense. Let's call that cover four again here. Third and 24, and 
gets to the outside and taken down by Castro. The CPU in this game is actually really good in terms of their um, call plane, as well as basically them being able to run the football extremely well. They do a lot of things really well in this game, and it really <clears throat> surprises me with how well they do a lot of the stuff in this game. As Oliver Martin called a fair catch. And we are out to the 20-yard line now to start Series 2 already on the season. Let me find a play here to call. Deuce Hogan scanning the field, throws it out, and incomplete. Probably short throw on that one for him. There we go. My game lagged there a little bit. That was a little concerning. What the heck? Oh, that was odd. All right. Well, there was a neutral zone infraction on the play, I guess. All right. Second and five now. Deuce Hogan. Back to throw. And... All right, well, I guess he threw a pick six. And we get out here to about the 17-yard line here. All right, let me see. Let's call a run here. Tyler Goodson inside gets about two, two and a half there. Dumps it off to Makai Sargent and gets out to 27 on that one. So a nice play to Makai there. And Deuce Hogan's first pass completion of the series there for us. Quick throw and... A Central Michigan penalty. Oh, they held him on the play and Kyler Schlott is now hurt. So, he had to come off the field that play. Our right guard, Kyler. Running back here. Good sit. Makai, second and eight now for him. And Larry Gant gets, <clears throat> gets him on that one. Amir Smith-Marset with the tackle there. Oh, crap. You know what I just realized? I forgot to make one more change to the series. So there's a setting that I forgot to change that will allow me to see the numbers. All right, I'll have to remember to do that for the next time for the series. Sorry about that. I'll have to remember to do that next time. Anyway, Deuce Hogan back to pass. Open. Brandon Smith on the play. His first reception of the series goes for 11 yards. Thomas Morell on the coverage. Or, excuse me, 12 yards for him <clears throat> on that play. Go to our shotgun set here. First down and 10. Hogan rolling out to his right. Throws on the run. <clears throat> And he's got a man, and that's a touchdown! Just went right up the seam on that one, practically. Brandon Smith for 37, Deuce Hogan's first touchdown of his gun Iowa career. So he's got a pick six, so he threw a pick six, came right down the field, engineered the offense, and he did a good job of that on that series. I think that he engineered a great drive there. Kick is good by Keith Duncan and the kickoff unit now. Let's off a big return all the way down inside the 18. 
yard line on that one. So not a good <clears throat> start at all for special teams, really, either in this game. Letting off that big return there. Let's see if we can hold him here. First down and 10. Mitchell looks flustered and gets it to this tight end anyway. Dale Darling and Barrington Wade there on the tackle. Second down and 10 here. Looks like a fullback run, and he gets taken down real fast by Nick Neiman coming off the edge there. Third down and three now. Shotgun formation here for Central Michigan. Has it to run, and taken down by Barrington Wade. First down and goal now for Central Michigan. This defense is having a little bit of problems right now. And tackled by Noah Shannon there. Second down and two now. I wish that I had a goal line package. Unfortunately, this game does not do goal line. That's another thing that I need in this game. I need a goal line package. Gets to the outside. And he is dragged down by Riley Moss after whipping it after a couple of missed tackles there. Down to the one. Let's bring out our... Pass coverage unit here as they throw it and Dale drops it incomplete. And they decide to take the three points there. So 14 to 10 now, 434 left to go in the first. And speaking of the timing on these games, I'm not exactly sure how long all these games are going to be as Max Cooper gets out to the 11 here. It gets out to about the 10 and a half, 11 here on this run. Not a good decision there, it appeared, for him to take that out. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long these games in the series are going to be. I hope that they're roughly an hour or so is what I'm hoping for in terms of the recording length of the videos. But um, we'll see what happens there. Unfortunately, I'm not able to change the time really at all. But I can speed up the games by using this little dial over here if I feel the need to at all. Right now, I have it at that because I think that the play calling the... um commentary that I'm doing for the plays is actually pretty good right now in terms of the quality and what's good and you can actually see all that's going on in the field on at a decent rate still nonetheless as we get out the third and one now it appears call a quick dive in here and we get it yes we did okay all righty Tyler Goodson got it across the line there all righty Let's bring out our first running back rotation setup. This is, should be Makai Sargent in the ball game now. And he gets the toss right and takes it out about to the 27-yard line. Gets seven on the play. I thought it was closer to eight there from my point of view of the game. But you never know in this game. All righty. High formation again here. Deuce Hogan back to pass. And he gets sacked. So third and ten now. Deuce Hogan kind of having an up and down day. At least he didn't throw a pick that time or anything on that one. And Deuce Hogan with the ball back to pass. Throws it to the outside and that's a catch I think. Yes it is. Amir smith said on a little flat route to the outside. Get uh, with a deep out route. Gets to... Gets about 13 on the play. Great play by him. And I'll bring Tyler Goodson back into the ball game here as he gets the carry right side and gets probably about four on the play. Yep, four down to 37. Buck 46 left to go here in quarter number one of the series. As Deuce Hogan looking over the middle quickly, and that was not a good decision at all. There by Deuce Hogan. Not quite sure what he was looking at on that one.
as this is a sprint to the right here with Hogan, and he gets taken down here, four yards. Tried to run a little bit of a trick play on him there. Out to the 41, and we're going to send the punting unit onto the field here. This punt is a touchback, 58 yards by Nick Phelps. Good first punt by him, and Central Michigan starts out at the 20. Yard line here. Shotgun four wide receiver set here for Mitchell. Back to pass. Quick throw and incomplete. On the play. Decent coverage there nonetheless. On the play there. Call cover two here. Mitchell back to pass. Throws it quick to the outside again. And third and one. One now. Matt Hankins in coverage on the play there. Third and one, and they get the first down quickly. So, and an Iowa penalty here on Roberts, unsportsmanlike conduct. Looks like things are getting a little bit chippy out here to start things in this one. And nice tackle there by Barrington Wade to end the first quarter of football there. And let's go and take a look here at the end of quarter box score here. Six first downs to Central Michigan's one. Pretty much the only way that they have scored is on short drives or a bad or, or the pick six by Hogan. Uh, Tyler Goodson's having a great game already up to 95 yards. I look to get him the ball a lot more now. We'll see what he can do. And Barrington Wade already has three tackles in this game. They record pancakes? That's nice. They record pancakes in this game. That is awesome. Darling has three of their pancakes already on their defensive line. Like I said, the CPU... The AI in this game is extremely good. So you have to be really careful in this game. You can get beat by... I don't I don't want to say you can get beat by, like, anybody. As that looks like a draw there by James Mitchell. Third down and four at the 50. For him. Twin tight end look here. As they're running back, takes the outside, cuts in, and the first is made. But a penalty, but an illegal use of hands penalty on Dale Darling backs that up. Huge missed opportunity for Central Michigan there. Third down and 14 now. Dime defense out here for Iowa. Back to pass and open. And they get the first down anyway. Tackle there by DJ Johnson on the play. Some of these back at defenders seem to be having a little bit of problems as they throw it out and incomplete there. And the 335 look is out again for Iowa. Is a quick throw in. Colin Dinsdale, one of the backup defenders, gets the play. I formation look now for. The um, Central Michigan Chippewas here as they go quick throw again and incomplete. Low throw. And they should call a punt in theory, and they do indeed. Returned by Oliver Martin. Actually, no, it must have been fair caught. I'm assuming it was fair caught. I wish you could tell your players not to, like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying, like, not return those and all that. But anyway, now, first down and 10. Goodson here with the pitch and gets a few yards on the play out to the seven yard line. Second down and seven now for the offense. As the ball is snapped, Goodson again, and he gets the carry, makes a few moves. And gets about eight yards on the play. First down and 15. Now for Iowa. Good run there by Goodson. That's his type of game. You make one man miss and you're gone. And he's gone. Hogan. Outside. And nice play there. 
out to the 20 four yard line out to the 23 and they actually accepted a penalty on the play so automatic first down regardless for Iowa out to the 24 now Hogan looking to pass and he got sacked right at the line oh my I wonder if they had like a fumbled snap or something and he like fell on it or whatever that could be interesting that's an, that would be interesting if they had those in this game. Anyway, Deuce Ho getting hands in off here to Tyler Goodson, and he's gone again. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Can he keep going? 10, 5. And we've got another touchdown. Or excuse me, that one was Makai Sargent. See? That's why I need to put the numbers out here on the field. There is an option to do that. I just need to put it into the game. I just need to put the option on. I do apologize for that. Makai Sargent on the run of 76 yards, and we are up 21 to 10 here in the second quarter. And another good return here by Richard Smith. We just cannot stop him for some reason right now. They do have some decent linebackers. They do have some interesting running backs on this team. I will give them that. It's pretty much their only strength, really, though. Huge strength, really, though, with their running backs. They get four yards here by Jason Durand. Duran, Durand, I'm not quite sure there. Oh, pressure and a sack. Austin Schultz gets in there for the sack. And third and 16 now, twin tight end. Set out here, it appears, for them. I got press coverage out here now. And another sack, Noah Shannon on this one. And if we look at the splits down here now, 85, 81 passing yards to 188 rushing yards. For Iowa in this one already. And a return here by Oliver Martin here. Why are they not returning the punts? It's kind of irritating me a little bit. I don't know. It's not realistic football, you know? Let's bring out some subs here now. And Hogan pitches it out to the right side, and Makai Sargent got hit the ground real hard on that one. Gain of about six on the play. I formation here for Iowa. Deuce Hogan back to pass. He's going long, and it's Brandon Smith out to the outside. And he's shoe he's shoelace tackled there for 32. At the 46 by Thomas Morell. Great route there. Great job getting off the uh, play, getting off the line right there by him. As a spread look now for Iowa. And this is a design run to the left for Hogan. And he gets tackled on the play for about six. I know he doesn't have a lot of speed. But I do plan on calling some of that in this game just to kind of uh, confuse the offense a little bit. As the ball is now snapped. A little pump fake. You don't do a pump fake on a levels concept. And sacked. So the levels concept was covered very well there. Third down and 13 now for the offense. As Deuce Hogan takes it for wide out, out, and he's got an open man. And I'm not quite sure why he went out of bounds there. That was kind of odd CPU play right there. He could have gotten the touchdown on that. That was really odd. Anyway, it's a gain of 13 now, as it'll be a direct snap here. Direct handoff here, the fullback, Turner, and he gets about seven on the play. Great play there by Turner. Another twin tight end look here for Iowa. About five and a half left. Good sin with some room. Gets out to the 
21 yard line on that one. I need to learn the UI in this so I don't have as many pauses in my breaks. I do apologize for that. I, I, I'm sure I'll get it eventually. I'll get it figured out eventually, I know, but it's kind of annoying for you guys, though. Anyway, Tyler Goodson for 10, and we're up to 200 yards rushing already in this one. Deuce Hogan back to pass. A little bubble screen set up, but he looks the opposite way. And a pass interference call on Central Michigan's Thomas Murrell anyway. Tyler Goodson with the ball, weaving through, gets out to about the six, five and a half, six yard line on that one. They say five, but I feel like sometimes that, see, in my opinion, the five and a half yard line should really be your, like, should really be like the six yard line, you know? I don't know. Anyway, Tyler Goodson into the end zone for another touchdown. His second on the day, 127 yards for Tyler Goodson, and he is looking like the man we had last year here in Iowa City. Looks like a touchback here by the kickoff unit, and out comes the offense here for Central Michigan, who really hasn't done a whole lot, to be honest with you. They've had some good plays, but they haven't had the long drive yet in this one running back here takes it tackled by nick neiman quickly jason duran gets about one on the play second down and nine coming up here in the shotgun formation james takes it it's another direct snap run up the middle and a penalty here on central michigan for illegal use of hands <coughs> makes it second and 19. James Mitchell hands it off, and Dylan Doyle comes in for the tackle. Gets about three yards on the play there. And we will look at halftime numbers as well. I'm basically, I'm actually going to open up the, num the box score for, um, at, after each uh, quarter, actually, for you guys. So that way we can look over stats. For the game. And all these videos will not be edited at all. Uh, and the reason why that is. Is because. And a return there. I also remarked of a few yards on the play. After the 31. But anyway. The reason why I don't plan on editing in this. Is because I. Don't really think it's all that necessary. Necessarily to edit this. Game. I just don't really see any. Point and I just don't really see what I can edit in this other than stuff like this. But at the same time, I like to show this screen because it shows the game summary. It shows the last play information. And it doesn't on the other one. So I don't know what I'll do in terms of editing yet. Anyway, Deuce Hogan back to pass here. Throws to the outside and incomplete. Looks like he might not have been on the same page there with his receiver. On that one, as another run here, handing it off, good sin. Man, this kid is shifty, and he is tough to bring down. Another great run for him. He's got 147 and two touchdowns in this one. Third down and one here, and a quick sack. They just didn't block the outside men there on that one. And I am going to go ahead and send the punt unit out. And a short punt here and a shorter return here. Actually, they say he had negative return yards, but I don't. I'll give you the replay. That's a bug because they showed him going backwards when he really showed him going forward when he really went backwards on that. OK, that must be just be a bug in the game. That's okay, though. Anyway, with a minute on two left here, up by 18, Iowa's defense set back out on the field. Nick Neiman gets a nice tackle there, and I'm going to call a timeout on the play. Ball is snapped here, and incomplete on the play. So third down and nine. I'm curious to see what the CPU does in these situations. If they run the ball, or if they'll pass it here. 
And they're going to go and pass it. And Matt Hankins got his hands on it. Incomplete. Great player by Hankins. And the punting unit is out on the field. And Oliver Martin gets a few yards there on the return. Make it about four, four and a half on that one. As Iowa comes out here. And a false start on Nico Regani. Okay, then. So, false start on Nico Regani there. I like it how it doesn't, like, show the formation. It actually tells you what happened there. I I get it why I wouldn't edit it in that regard. Anyway, after the false start here, Duke. Hogan looking deep. He's got a man. 15, 10, 5. Down inside the 4. And that is the end of the half in this one. So Amir Smith Marset could not get down the field in time. Great effort though on the play. And let's take a look here at the box score now for this one. So Tyler Goodson has a couple touchdowns. Brandon Smith has a touchdown in this one. Makai Sargent has a touchdown. Central Michigan with only two first downs in this one. And their two first downs came on third down conversions for them. They have only 63 total yards to Iowa's 417 total yards in this one. As they have almost 300 yards of offense in this one already. Wait, 400 yards. Are they... I think the game is calculating receiving yards and passing yards here. Because there's no way that we should be having 417 receiving yards already. Let me grab my calculator here. Hold on one second here. I'm wondering if the game is calculating that wrong. Because I don't think we should have 400 yards by now. That's kind of surprising. Now we do 35 plus 31 plus 8. Minus 10, minus 1. Okay, you know what? They're not, actually. No, they're not, because I just did it off of Central Michigan's, and it popped up correctly. 183 receiving uh, passing yards for Iowa, and 234 rushing yards. So, yeah, okay, yeah. So, they are calculating it, right? Okay. And 25 rushing attempts. We're getting almost 10 Yards of rush, nine and a half. We do have the interception, though, by Deuce Hogan earlier in the ball game. But overall, I do think he's playing a great game today for us. And the defense overall is doing a pretty good job as well in this one here. I just want to see a lot of the same here. And maybe we'll be able to see a bunch of the backups play here in the second half later on. As this is a touchback deep into the end zone. As they do kneel in this game. Okay, okay, so we see a kneel. Now by the CPU. 3-3-5 three, three, look here for Iowa. Ball is snapped. And oh, Albert takes it. No gain, actually, on the play. Austin got uh, Austin Schultz got in there pretty quickly. He was the one with the one of the sacks earlier, as well as Noah Shannon. James Mitchell hands it off, and Albert gets down. To, to about the 27-yard line there, game about two for Central Michigan there. And the ball is snapped here again. Pancake up the right side, and Dylan Doyle takes him down after a gain of about three. So quick three and out here for Central Michigan to start things, and a great punt here. It was a touchback, however, but nonetheless, great punt. And the offense comes back out here onto the field for this one. As the ball is snapped, now, and the fullback took it. Turner for about five on the play. Not a bad play there. And Bayard here takes it. His first carry, and look at him go. Down to the 50, 45-yard line for him. He came out of nowhere and just broke off a 30-yard run. Great run for him. As we're already starting to see some of the backups out here on the field for Iowa. As Deuce Hogan plants his feet, throws, caught, inside the 30. And Brandon Smith for 15 on the play from the slot. Great route by him there. 
Deuce Hogan here, back to pass, tight end. And he fumbles it. So Drew Cook comes into the ball game and he fumbles at the 21 yard line. So another mistake here for Iowa in their opener. Up 28 to 110 regardless, but even in an opener, you just don't want to see stuff like this from a top 10 program. Looking into the next into the year as incomplete out to the outside there. The defense in this game has been great though for Iowa. I'm very happy with the defensive performance as Hogan back to pass. Or excuse me, not Hogan, Mitchell and incomplete there. Third down and ten now, and the and they're gonna run it here. Looks like they just conceded there. And Barrington Wade brings him down by the face mask. So they get a little luck there. Horrible penalty there by Barrington Wade. As they get down to the 36. And Hogue and Mitchell throws it. Caught inside the 48 now for this team. And ever since that penalty, it looks like this team is a little bit out of sorts right now. And they get out to about the 46 of Iowa here inside Iowa territory. Ten minutes to go here. Three possession ball game still nonetheless. As Albert takes it again up the gut down to the 38 yard line. Not doing a good job in this one uh, on this drive. As it and incomplete. They tried to cut the route there. I wonder if that was tipped. They say it just fell incomplete. They didn't say it was tipped. But I wonder if it was nonetheless. As they're going to get about eight on this one. Here by Albert. One of their star, one of their better players on the team overall. Having a decent game. Although he has 10 yards for, at 10 attempts for 29 yards. But he's having some decent carries at times in this one. As it's third and two now, eight and a half left, and he brings it out to the outside here and gets the two yards needed for the first down. Iowa here in some trouble on this one as Jack Croner comes in for the tackle here. And Kayvon Merriweather here with a low tackle gets it them out to the 16 now on this one. Still in a 4-3 package here for Iowa as the defense here is kind of scrambling it looks like. But a first and 20, James Mitchell came in the block and he got a holding penalty. Well, that'll back things up for them. And look at this, they're coming out in a wishbone set now. James Mitchell, he's going to throw it out of it. Pancake, throws it, and incomplete. Too high for his fullback on the play. That was quite the sequence there. Twin tight end set here for Central Michigan. It's a quick throw and a ta quick tackle there by Hankins right as he catches it. Good job there by Hankins. Shotgun four wide receiver set here. Iowa going in a quarters package here, and they run the ball. And attack, and unnecessary drop this here by Michael O.J. Moody. Another stupid penalty here in the opener. Ball is snapped here and taken down by Barrington Wade here for a gain of about one on the play. Five and a half left here in the third quarter now. We haven't had any scoring in the third as, he, as Martin here is tackled by Matt Hankins. Down to the one now. And Central Michigan looks to try and pound this thing in here, and I think they did. Yup. By now here in a second, who scored that? And it was Albert on the play who scored that one. 28-17 now. Looks like Iowa's going to need some offense here in this quarter. To get going here, and why not? Tyler Goodson. 
Gets a few on the play there. Not a bad run there by Goodson. He has 150 now in the game. And Deuce Hogan here back to pass. And a short dump off here. Tackled. Not a good decision at all regardless. Buyer there for the short gain. On the play. As Tyler Goodson here will take the handoff. And good block and ahead. And he's out to 33. 32-33. Thomas Morrell there with the tackle. First down Iowa. Great vision there. By Tyler Goodson yet again. And Deuce Hogan here back to pass. And Anthony Wallace gets in front of the receiver to bat that one away. Ball is snap here. Inside handoff here from the shotgun set for Makai Sargent. He takes it up to the 36 now for Iowa. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter. As a shotgun set here, four wide receiver set here for Hogan. As he throws it, batted down at the line by Willie Simmons. And this is going to be a punt for Iowa here. And they get down to about the 35 on this one. So, not a good quarter here for Iowa in this one. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. They got a little lackluster this quarter. As Central Michigan now. He had a man get open down the middle. Didn't see it. Dumped it off. And it was incomplete there. Matt Hankins got a little lost there, it appeared. And the ball is snapped here, second down, and the running back here, DJ Johnson, gets him down after about nine on the play. The wishbone set here for the offense, and they hand it off, and I think he got, you know, I don't think he got it. William Ostrander there with the play. He's one of the ones that we don't know too much about. As they do decide to punt the ball away here. No return by Oliver Martin here. And no damage done there. Bucko 3 left here in the first quarter here of this one. As Deuce Hogan pitches it out wide. And Goodson gets taken down after a gain of about 5 on the play. He's up to 168 now. In this game. And Deuce Hogan drops back. And caught! What a move there! And he's down the 40, 35 yard line there for Amir Smith Marset, ending the quarter for Iowa, up by 18 in this one, and looking to pretty much ice it on this possession, it appears. Hand it off here, and what a tackle there. Pretty much a pancake there for Tyler Goodson. As he gets nothing out of that. Deuce Hogan here, back to pass. And John Byer gets a nice gain here, about six yards on the play. Third down and four now for the offense. And looks like they're going high formation here. And it's a pitch left to Tyler Goodson. And he's got it and more. Down to the 11-yard line there. Excuse me, the 12 there. For Tyler Goodson on the play. First down and 10 here from the Central Michigan 12. Quick screen out wide. He's got a man. He's open and touchdown. Great setup there on the screen. No block, but... They had the right idea there to get it out there to Max Cooper for his first touchdown of the series. And Deuce Hogan now has two touchdowns and a pick as Iowa's up 35-17 to here with about 13 minutes left to go here in quarter number four. And not a good return here all by Richard Smith. This time brought down at the 12-yard line. 12, 11 and a half yard line, whatever you want to call it. I think it was more so the 11 and a half there, closer to the 11 and a half there, as Chauncey Golston gets his first tackle of the series. Nice play by him. 
he's been kind of quiet today in this one, I, I feel like. As we go back to pass here, and Dale Darling can't hang on to the ball. There he was open on the play. And taking a look at the box score here, we have almost 600 total yards now in this one. And the time of possession is pretty even in this game, believe it or not. We're not getting quick stops on them at all. They're just methodically moving the ball down the field at an interesting rate here. A few different players running the ball today, and a, and Max Cooper, Brandon Smith with the two touchdowns, Nick Phelps having a good game punting, longest of 58, three punts for one, fifth 32 in his debut as James Mitchell here back to pass quickly and tackled by Dale Darling, and two Dale Darling tackled by Kayvon Merriweather on the play. I cannot talk today. I do apologize for that. As a return there for Oliver Martin gets, actually loses four yards on the play. Must have tried to make some moves or something there. As Iowa's starting offense still comes back out here onto the field. Looks like they're going to try and ice this thing. Has a great slant route pattern there to Brandon Smith for 11 yards on the play. And Iowa with a little counter action here. And this is a good run out to the 45 Five-yard line, but a holding on the play by Linderbaum sets it back first and 20 now for Iowa. Great play, though, nonetheless, outside of the holding call there. Deuce Hogan back to pass. He's got an open receiver. Looked like he tried to come back for it, but he came back a little late, and he's still got room regardless. Now to the 20-yard line. Regain with a 49-yard play there. Great play there by Regain. Tackle by Timothy on the play. Deuce Hogan back to pass. Looks like they're going to try and ice this thing. There's a little bit of a screen here to Sam Laporta. This time the screen to the outside doesn't work as well as last time. But they still got about three on the play regardless. Hogan hesitates and dropped by Max Cooper on the play. He was open that time too there on that play. Third and seven now. For Iowa, I-formation look here, Deuce Hogan rolling out. He's got it, man. And they say it was broken up. Looked like it could have been tipped by one of the linebackers inside there. We can take a look at it again here. How was that tipped by a linebacker? There was nobody there. Field goal, Keith Duncan good from 32 out. 21-point game now for Iowa as the offense comes out on the field, as defense comes out on the field for the touchback. And we're going to bring out some of the backups here. And a false start here by Kyle Phillips, one of their offensive linemen. So we'll do first and 15 now for the backups. As they throw it out wide here, and that's a tackle by Terry Roberts there. Gain of about four there on the play. Second down and six now. Ball is snapped. Mitchell looking and caught there by Colbert. Third and one now. And the main defense comes back down on the field after a couple quick plays on the bench there. And they get the stop. Nick Neiman. No gain on the play there. And they are going to punt the football here. Up by, down by 21. And it looks like some subs are starting to come in now for Iowa. As Pedalia now comes back into the game for his first snap. And look at the right. Go here as he, Ivory Kelly Martin takes it out of bounds there on the play. His first carry of the series. As he gets the carry again here and gets out to about the 43-yard line. There's got to be some sort of an awareness rating that I'm not aware of on why those things are happening. And Mark Winfield here gets called for encroachment on the play. Interesting there is we have hit 600 yards of total offense in this game. 
as Ivory Kelly Martin takes it up the middle for eight. Anthony Wallace there with the tackle. Zyle is just pretty much looking to take this game to the locker room here, just trying to run out this clock. Ivory Kelly Martin gets another big hole, and he's out into the secondary looking for the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown, Iowa, and that'll pretty much do it here in this one. A garbage time touchdown there for Ivory Kelly Martin as we are up to seven over 700 yards of total offense and almost 400 yards rushing in this game. Great balance all the way around by the offense today. Iowa 45-17 with about four minutes to go here at the end of <coughs> near the <coughs> end of the game here. Mitchell feels pressure outside. It was too wide for his receiver incomplete on that one. Second down now. They're going to keep their starters out here. Albert outside, and he's got a hole, and he's got space. And he gets taken down by Michael O.J. Moody, get down to the 48-yard line on that one. They're up to 100 yards rushing now in this game, but they don't have 100 passing yet. As Albert, that's about three on the play, about three minutes to go here in the game. Up by 28, Iowa just pretty much contend here. And what is he doing there? Looks like that Hankins there got a little lost. And it's time to bring some of the backups back out here out on the field. Looks like fatigue could have hit him there. James Mitchell here back to pass, rolling out to his right, and he's sacked. Noah Shannon with his second of the series. Dime defense out here for Iowa, second down and 20 as they run the football here. And they get about 16 on the play. Tackle hard by Riley Moss on that one. Third down and four now for Central Michigan as the run defense is starting to, de to deteriorate here a little bit with the backups. Now up to 120 now for Central Michigan. As he gets tackled quickly there by William. There on the play, 49 seconds to go now in this one. As Mitchell reads, and incomplete. Kyle Billups could have caught that one. And they are content just letting the clock run here. It looks like 29 seconds to go. Mitchell backing up, finding some space, and tackled by Colbert there. Fourth down and three at the five. Three seconds to go. And the game is over. I was kind of hoping that we would get an end of game screen there, but we didn't. Iowa wins this one 45 17. 712 yards of offense in this one. I felt like that the offense had a great balance. Hogan had a slow start, but he had a good game overall. I wish that I would have given the ball a little bit more to Makai Sargent. I'll make sure to do that more uh, next game here for us. Tyler Goodson with 168. Brandon Smith with 125. Amir Smith-Marset with another 118. Reganey had a nice 49-yard play. Max Cooper came in on the screen pass there. And Laporta did not have a big game in this one at all. Caleb Shudak, they said, came in for an extra point. I must have, that must have been when I, you know what happened? I bet that happened because when I brought the defense out on the field, or excuse me, not the defense, when I brought the backups out on the field, I bet you that's what caused that to happen there. And Nick Phelps here, 132 yards and three punts. Great job by him in this one. And we are through here with game number one. And we are going to, and before I simulate here, I do just want to make sure of one thing real fast. Wow, we're up to 59 minutes here in the recording already here of this video. So let me know what you think of the series of that game here. I thought that the team played extremely well this game. And as we take a look here at all the rest of the games here around the league, our opponents next time, Arizona State takes on NC State here. 
I'm going to go ahead and simulate the week, and we're going to take a look at some of the box scores here in game after week one here. So I'm simming week one here real quick. CPU recruiting. Update here real quick. And week two. Now, now we do not play in week two. So I'll probably go ahead and sim that on my own time. And then we'll kind of go through the week there. But let's go ahead and take a look here at the scouting reports here real quick. So we've got scouting reports on several players already fully scouted. Here in this one. Oh, oh there's an analytics department that gives you grades. Oh, I need to look at that. Okay, so we got... And I'm not going to go over recruiting quite yet until after the year, until we get closer to the end of the season. I'm not going to worry about that right now. What? So, uh, Alex Vidalia worked on his agility, intelligence for Davion Nixon, strength for Brady Reeve, Nick Anderson here for intelligence, Samson Evans with speed, and Gnomes Richard with blocking. Great setup there of training for them. And player performances here. Notable performances here. Out of the game, Deuce Hogan played 65 snaps. He had a value per snap of two. I am not quite sure what that means. If you know what that means offhand, let me know down in the comments section what you think that means. Because I'm not quite sure at all in regards to what that means. Deuce Hogan here with an attitude grade of A+, plus, awareness A+, plus, effort A+, plus, and production A+. Plus. Bayard here with his one key play. 17 snaps for him in this one, but the one run there, of course. And Tyler Goodson, of course. Nick Neiman had a great game. Makai Sargent, Amir Smith-Marset, Brandon Smith, Max Cooper, Regani, and Shannon all with some of the better performances of Week 1. And let's take a look here at some of the games here from Week 1. In this one, as our opponents next time we play... Arizona State lost to NC State in a close 48-41 shootout here, it appears. As NC State got out to a quick lead, and they just never gave it back to Arizona State, who had one turnover in the game, which was an interception. They had only 285 yards of offense, despite scoring 41 points. Must have had some short fields in this one here for them. And Higgs, their quarterback here, at a buck 42 touchdowns and a pick with 11 to 27 completion percentage. Here in this one, and he's not a bad quarterback, it looks like, overall, but he did sprain his ankle. So he is going to be out for when we play. So their backup, William Olivia, will have to come into the ball game. Wade Olivia. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Arm strength here of 73. So he's not a pow. So he doesn't throw the ball deep down the field a lot. His completion percentage is 50. He did throw a touchdown in the ball game, however. McCoon here with 11, with 111 on the ground and a touchdown here. Looks like he had a decent game. Average of about five yards there. And yeah, all righty then. So Arizona State loses their first game of the series. Louisiana Lafayette wins. Um, Air Force wins. Boise State wins in a blowout fashion. Baylor had some problems with Eastern Michigan. They scored 21 in the third quarter and were up by and was up by one with 226 to go in the quarter wow wow i'm actually kind of tempted to watch some of these games on my own time too some of the close ones just to see what happened as michigan goes into california and wins 47 21 in this one 
as it looks like they had a great game from their quarterback here in this one. Now, remember, I did not edit any other team's names. I only edited Iowa for this series. Carlson here with 94 and a touchdown. Chaffin here with a 954. Bonner here with 28 and 2. So, decent game there for them. Then Cincinnati beats Miami of Ohio, 45-23. Central Florida wins, 45-39. Durham here, oh wait, Duke here beat UConn in this one. I'm not quite sure why I have... Shoot, I meant to put Duke here for that. Doggone it, I didn't change their abbreviation at all. Sorry about that. And Maryland gets upset by Florida Atlantic on the road as they give up 20, as they give up 31 in the first half and lose 59-31. Not a good game for the Big Ten at all. Let's take a look at this game here. So they jumped out to a quick 10-0 lead, and then it was all FAU from there, it appears. They had two turnovers, two fumbles lost. A f two fumbles, one loss. They had a pick. They actually got out gained here. They almost gave up almost 500 yards in this one, so not a good game at all for them. Georgia wins 68 17. Georgia State comes in and beats Nevada 35 29. A little bit of an upset there. Illinois crushes, my, up crushes Ohio. The Bobcats there. Puts up 62 on them. Clemson puts 45 on. Excuse me, Louisiana Tech. Ohio State gets upset here by Louisville. So a big loss here in the conference here. Louisville comes, gets, beats Ohio State at home. And that's a huge loss there for the Big Ten. Winter here through two interceptions. They even brought in the backup, Evans, and he played even better with a touchdown and a buck 54 for them. They didn't throw the ball a lot, but when they did, they were efficient, it looked like. McDermott here, six for 10 for three touchdowns for Louisville, as Holman got hurt with a broken finger. But McDermott led him in this game, it looks like. They had over 200 yards rushing in this one as well. So, yeah, huge loss there for the Big Ten. A big upset indeed. And Penn State goes in to South Bend and takes down Notre Dame by seven in this one. And it looked like a pretty even matchup across the board here. 392 passing here for Penn State. Looks like that um, Notre Dame couldn't get a whole lot of offense going despite 315. They had only 158 on the ground. The balanced attack is surely good, but I mean, when you give up almost 400 yards passing them, you're going to have some problems. Colorado loses to Old Dominion. Oklahoma beats Northern Illinois 52 to 7. Oregon State goes into Pittsburgh and wins 31 to 20. Ole Miss beats South Florida 51 to 20. Providence. Wait, is that Providence? Oh, BYU, I'm sorry. Why is it, I didn't change some of these some of these abbreviations just didn't save. I am so sorry about that. BYU Gets beat by Stanford by one in this one. A close matchup indeed. As they scored a touchdown with 11 seconds left after Pittsburgh 34-28. I might go back and watch some of these games. If you want to, if you want to see some of these games in live app, if you want to see some of these games, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm more than willing to show you some of them. And Alabama got beat by Toledo, scoring 17 in the fourth, playing inspired football, coming back down 13 in this one. Unbelievable loss here for Alabama. Unbelievable. I mean, that that's insane. Losing to Alabama. 
like beating Alabama like they did. I mean, that's incredible. That's incredible. Missouri beats Tulsa 53-31. Michigan State beats UNLV 53-24. Minnesota beats Vanderbilt 30-28. And Washington beats Indiana 30-13. And Wisconsin beats Marshall 50-31 in this one. So let me know down in the comments section at all. Oh, that's not good. Okay, there we go. Looks like I'm having some scrolling lag here. There we go. Okay. Ooh, that scared me there for a second. All right. Looks like we have some scrolling lag there. And I'm going to go ahead and... <coughs> and and simulate <coughs> our bye week here real quick for this game against Navy. I mean, again, as we prepare for Arizona State, as I do want to take a look at recruiting here real fast before I do so. Yeah, I'm just going to have them auto-do it for me, because I don't really understand. I honestly don't really understand this whole recruiting system at all, to be honest with you, in this game. So, I'm going to have them do it. So I'm going to have them do the recruiting for me. I honestly don't really understand it too much in this series. I'll be, I'll let them do it for now, and then if I need to do anything later, I'll deal with it then. I do apologize for that, by the way. So anyway, let's go ahead here. We'll take a look here at the Week 2 schedule in, this, in the league. So Wisconsin plays Hawaii. And are there any top games in this one that we should keep our eye on? Ole Miss plays Cincinnati. Missouri goes to Colorado. Virginia goes to Illinois. Arizona State plays at Houston on our bye week. Texas State goes to Indiana. USC, who lost, goes to Louisiana Tech. Auburn and Mich goes to Michigan. And Nebraska starts their season in this week. So let's go and simulate week two here. I'll go over the week and then I will go ahead and stop the video there for today. I do apologize with it being such a long video today. I uh, did not expect this to uh, be such a long video today. And we are on the week three here against Arizona State as it is technically a pick em game as we are seventh now in the country. And look at this, Alabama, nowhere to be found in the top 25 rankings. And we are number seven in the land. Let's take a look now at week two, as it looks like that Bama came back and won. But Air Force wins 49-28 over Navy. Kentucky loses their first game of the season, 45-31. And Arkansas State gets the shutout over Kent State, so the first shutout of the series. And UCF gets the second shutout, 59 0, at least the ones that I noticed anyway. Missouri beats Colorado, 48 24, gets ranked in the top 25 after that win. West Virginia beat Georgia State, 28 27, a close game there. Florida State beats Southern Methodist University, the Ponies. Georgia Tech comes in and beats Arizona in their opener, and Houston beat Arizona State. So not a good start for them. LSU beats B Bowling Green. Maryland loses to Marshall on the road. USC gets revenge. And look at this. Michigan topples Auburn. 38-7. Grayson with four touchdowns. Peters with a buck. 
with a buck 37 and 95 yards and two touchdowns here. Great game for them. And Virginia Tech goes into Nebraska and wins 63-17 in this one. 63-17. Here, 17 points for Nebraska to start out in this game. And it was all Virginia Tech from there. As they had over 600 total yards of offense in this one. And Nebraska's quarterback and offense just could not get it going there after the first. They punted eight times for 370. And a few penalties in this, couple penalties in this one for them. But a pretty, but I mean, man, that's tough. And Mississippi State beats Nevada 44-37. And Ohio State comes back and beats Kansas State in Overtime, 40, <coughs> 46 to 43 in this game here as we have one play touchdown here by Vern Cornett of Kansas State. Timothy Fraley here just back and forth and the field goal here killed Kansas State as Jeremy Hugh passed it to Darren Winner for the touchdown. In this one, great game there. And Florida goes into Oklahoma and wins 30-22 to in this game. Oregon wins 59 to nothing. Penn State wins 49-27. Oregon State gets their second win of the season. Georgia goes to Purdue and dominates. Bama goes to San Jose State and dominates. Washington goes to South Dakota State and dominates. Miami loses their first game at South Carolina by a couple touchdowns. Texas beats Southern Mississippi. And Arkansas loses to Massachusetts on the road. Vanderbilt loses to Northwestern. So Northwestern starts out with a win. And Wyoming beats North Carolina. And rushing yards per game here. Total yards per game here. Iowa up at the top at 712. Minnesota at 636 a game. 400 passing yards a game for them. And Oregon with 396 rushing yards a game for them. So let me know what you think of the series down in the comments section below. Thank you all for watching this game. I'm really excited to bring you more of this game. If you want me to do a quick video of any of these games, please let me know, and I will most certainly bring that to you. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next game at Arizona State. Have a great day, and I will see you next time.